Welcome to IMS 2012 and the celebration of our society's 60th anniversary. Join us on a journey through the fascinating history of microwaves, which began in ancient Greece, where Thales of Miletus performed the first electrostatics experiment by rubbing a piece of amber with a cloth. Aristotle anticipated the existence of electromagnetic forces, and Lucretius of Magnesia discovered magnetostatics as he observed the attraction of iron to lodestone. In the European early modern period, advances came from Gilbert, regarded by some as the father of electric engineering with his masterwork De Magnete, Descartes describing magnetism in terms of vortices and ether, and Gauss deducing the fundamental law of electromagnetic action via an electric field propagated at finite velocity. The 19th century witnessed the greatest breakthroughs in fundamental electromagnetics, with Faraday's discovery of magnetic induction, Maxwell's key equations of electromagnetics, and Hertz's experimental confirmation of those equations. These breakthroughs were followed by rapid technological progress as Brown invented the first semiconductor, the point contact diode used in crystal radios, as well as the first cathode ray tube for visual display, while Marconi performed the first transatlantic radio transmission in 1901. Both shared the 1909 Nobel Prize in Physics for the development of wireless telegraphy. In India, Bose pioneered microwave materials and millimeter wave technology. Early in the 20th century, De Forest invented the three-terminal tube, the audion, precursor of the transistor. Fessenden, born in Quebec, performed the first radio transmissions of voice and music, and Armstrong revolutionized radio broadcasting with FM modulation. The following year saw the founding of a few microwave companies still in existence today, including Raytheon, Roden Swartz, and Hewlett Packard. Shortly before World War II, Taylor and Young fortuitously discovered the radar effect while conducting communication experiments. Southworth conducted the first experiments on hollow waveguides following theoretical predictions of Lord Rayleigh. Russell and Sigurd Varian and Hansen invented the klystron at Stanford University and Boot and Randall at the University of Birmingham, seeing the insufficient power produced by the klystron for radar transmitters, invented the magnetron, commonly used in microwave ovens today. These advances enabled the development of radar, which was key to the Allied victory in the war. During the war, microwave science and technology experienced spectacular progress at the MIT Radiation Laboratory, initiated by Churchill and funded by millionaire A. L. Loomis. The Rad Lab played an instrumental role in the development of radar and also produced the first radio navigation system, LORAN, foreshadowing the development of GPS the lab gathered outstanding scientists, including physicists from academia, nine of whom later received Nobel Prizes for other achievements. In 1947, Bell Lab's physicists, Shockley, Bardeen, and Broughton, demonstrated the first semiconducting transistor, a term coined by John R. Pierce as a linguistic blend of transfer resistor. The transistor, a robust and low-power consumption alternative to vacuum tube amplifiers, revolutionized the field of electronics, including microwave electronics, and it was recognized by the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1956. Since 1884, the dominant electric engineering organization had been the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. Considering AIEE too conservative and too focused on electric power, and also seeking to establish an international organization, a few wireless practitioners founded the Institute of Radio Engineers in 1912. In 1963, IRE merged with AIEE to form the IEEE. The Microwave Theory and Technique Society was founded in 1952 
as a result of the developments of microwave technology started in World War II and of early microwave publications, including the MIT Rad Lab series and the proceedings of the IRE. At that time, it was called the Professional Group of MTT, as opposed to the MTT Society, which was adopted in 1974. 1952 was also the year Purcell and Ewan detected the elusive 21-centimeter hydrogen line. This achievement allowed a mapping of the spiral structure of our Milky Way galaxy, including the relative velocities of the arms determined by Doppler shift. The same year, Purcell shared the Nobel Prize for Physics with Bloch for the discovery of nuclear magnetic resonance. The first MTTS-related symposium namely a symposium sponsored by PGMTT, called the Microwave Circuit Symposium, was also held in 1952. It took place at the Western Union Auditorium in New York, had 210 attendees, and featured 12 papers. The registration fee was $2. The 1952 symposium was followed by four symposia with different names, sponsored by PGMTT and co-sponsored by different groups and organizations. In November 1956, PGMTT's ADCOM voted to be the sole sponsor and finance the meeting and make it an annual event. The name Symposium was adopted in 1958, with the 1964 Symposium being the first to include international in its title. In 1959, Kilby and Noyce a few months later independently invented the integrated circuit. This invention enabled the development of computers, mobile phones, and all other digital appliances and may be considered the catalyst of the electronic revolution of the 20th century. Kilby shared the Nobel Prize in Physics for his part of the invention of the integrated circuit with Alfarov and Cromer in 2000. In 1964, three researchers working together at Stanford Research Institute, Matei, Young, and Jones, published their famous book commonly referred to as the MYJ. Seymour Cohn was also a major contributor to this effort. In March 1965, Kurokawa, published a key paper on S parameters. Although other authors, such as Matthews, Colin, Bullender, casually mentioned the scattering matrix, this paper generalized and popularized the concept. S parameters are now applied in all vector network analyzers and have become a trademark of microwave engineers. MTTS did not have a logo until 1970. A symbol contest to develop an appropriate logo was launched in 1969. The laureate of this contest was the 2 Magic T M, standing for microwave and MTT, which is now familiar to all of us. Several researchers gave their names to microwave concepts, components, and systems. Most likely you're familiar with some of them, Following the invention of the integrated circuit in 1959, monolithic microwave integrated circuits emerged in the late 60s and 70s. A milestone in this area was the demonstration of the first gallium arsenide MMIC by Mayhall and Wacker, Texas Instruments, in 1968, which was followed by several other firsts at Plessy, Texas Instruments, Raytheon, and NEC Corp. At about the same time, commercial solvers started to emerge and progressively revolutionize the design of microwave components, circuits, and systems. Besser started the microwave computer-aided design industry in 1973 with the software Compact, which was bought by ComSat in 1980. In 1983, Abramson and Childs founded ESOF, whose first product, Touchstone, was introduced in 1984. Also in 83, Raltio started Sonnet at his home, incorporating the company in 88. In 1984, Sendes founded Ansoft, and his software, HFSS, was first shipped in 1990. 
From that time, there has been a proliferation of microwave circuit solvers and electromagnetic time domain and frequency domain solvers, where one of the latest concepts is multi-physics simulation. Since the founding of MTTS in 1952, membership in the society has steadily grown from about 500 to over 12,000 members, making MTTS the fifth largest of the 38 societies of IEEE. MTTS features four major publications. The Transactions on Microwave Theory and Techniques started in 1953, the Microwave and Wireless Components Letters started in 1991 under the name Microwave and Guided Wave Letters. The Microwave Magazine started in 1999 and the Transactions on Terahertz Science and Technology inaugurated last year. Many scientific and technological developments too numerous to all be cited are currently underway within MTTS. Some of the latest developments pertain to advanced wireless communication systems, gallium nitride, microelectromechanical systems, radio frequency identification, millimeter wave and terahertz technology, metamaterials, and RF nanoscience and technology. In celebration of the 60th anniversary of the Microwave Theory and Technique Society, and to highlight the coming of the International Microwave Symposium to Canada, you are invited to visit the historical exhibit on the fifth floor foyer. In addition to the traditional exhibit material, you will find an assortment of artifacts representative of Canadian accomplishments in microwaves spanning the last 50 years. Congratulations, MTTS, for 60 years of influence and innovation. We look forward to your continuing leadership in the next 60 years. Yeah.